Hey guys, Mr. Mitchell here. In this video, we're going to look at two worked examples to show you how to do problems involving charge moving parallel to an electric field. Now, if you haven't already done so, check out my previous video covering the theory on this topic, and that way you'll be able to apply what you learned in that video to this one. So let's get into it. Question 1 says that two parallel conducting plates are connected to a 1000 volt supply as shown. A small particle with a charge of minus 6 microcoulombs is at the lower surface of the top plate. Part A says how much work is done in moving the minus 6 microcoulomb charge between the plates. Remember this stuff was seen in higher level in the particles and waves topic, so it should pretty much be a recap here. Writing down what we know from the question, we're trying to find the work done. We know that the charge Q is minus 6 microcoulombs, which is the same as minus 6 times 10 to the minus 6 coulombs, and the potential difference or voltage V between the plates is 1000 volts. So writing down our equation, we have W equals QV. Substituting in the numbers gives us minus 6 times 10 to the minus 6 times 1000, which gives a final answer of minus 6 times 10 to the minus 3 joules. Part B says to describe the energy transformation associated with the movement of a minus 6 microcoulomb charge when it is released from the bottom plate. Well, if we look back at our diagram, essentially this bottom plate is our negative plate because it's at zero volts and the top plate is positively charged. So when the negative charge is at the bottom plate, it will want to be repelled away from the bottom plate and attracted towards the top plate. So at this point on the bottom plate, work will have been done to it to get it to that point where the work done is stored as electrical potential energy. And when the charge is released from the bottom plate, it will want to move to the top plate, so its electrical potential energy will be transferred into kinetic energy. So we can say the energy transformation is electrical potential energy to kinetic energy since the negative charge is attracted to the positive plate. Question 2 says that an electron is accelerated from rest between two parallel plates by a potential difference of 2000 volts. Calculate the final speed reached by the electron. Well, a good starting point here is to find the work done on the electron because this is equal to the change in kinetic energy of the electron. And we know we're going to be dealing with kinetic energy here because we want to find a final speed. So writing down what we know from the question, we're trying to find the work done. We know that the magnitude of the charge on an electron is 1.6 times 10 to the minus 19 coulombs and the potential difference V is 2000 volts between the plates. Also, we can say that the mass is 9.11 times 10 to the minus 31 kilograms for an electron. And we're also trying to find in this question the final speed V. So writing down our equation for work done in terms of the change in kinetic energy, we have W equals delta EK, so that just means the work done equals change in kinetic energy. And we can expand this right hand side by saying that this equals EK final minus EK initial. You could also use EK2 and EK1 if you prefer to use numbers. But in this case we can say that EK initial is equal to zero since the electron is starting at rest, which it tells us up here in the question. So this means we simply have work done is equal to the final kinetic energy, which we can expand as QV equals a half mv squared, where we can say that QV is equal to the work done W from W equals QV, and we know that an expression for kinetic energy is a half mv squared. So V in this equation is what we're trying to find, it's V final. So let's just sub in the numbers and then rearrange for V squared. So we get 1.6 times 10 to the minus 19 times 2000 equals a half times 9.11 times 10 to the minus 31 times v squared. Rearranging for v squared this time, we can multiply both sides by 2 to get rid of this half and then divide the left hand side by the mass of the electron here. So we get v squared equals 7.0 times 10 to the 14, which you'll find by putting all that into your calculator. And then to get what v is on its own, we need to take the square root of both sides. So we get that v equals 2.65 times 10 to the 7 meters per second. That's all for this video folks, I hope you find it useful. If you did, give it a like, subscribe to the channel and I'll see you in the next one. Take care.